Hey, and welcome to this little tutorial where I'm going to explain to you what Scrimba is and how you can use it to create coding screencasts. So this is Scrimba.com. On it, you can see a bunch of different coding screencasts. Let's head into one and see how it works. At first sight, a Scrimba screencast kind of looks like a normal video. You can click the play button in the bottom left corner and it'll play like a normal video. Let's do that. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you eight useful JavaScript hacks to use. Okay, so it still kind of looks like a video. Here on the timeline, you can scrub back and forth as much as you want. And as you can see, it's very, very responsive. There's no lag. Now, the unique thing with Scrimba, or one of the unique things, is that I, as the student, now at any given point, can jump into the code and change it. For example, write hello here, and then I can run the code like that and see how my changes affects the output. So that's totally unique. You can, at any given time, jump in and interact with the code, play around with it, copy it, for example, or just check out the various files like this. Now, if I want to save my note here, I can do that by clicking the Save button here. And then I have access to this note through my profile or through this screencast. So this, so this is a whole new and interactive experience, which never would have been possible with a normal video. Okay, so let's go back to Scrimba.com. Let's look at how to create a coding screencast with Scrimba. It's really easy. I simply hit the Create button, choose Screencast, then I choose a template. Let's choose a normal HTML, CSS, and JavaScript template. And then we give it a name, my lesson, for example. Then I hit confirm. Then I'm taken to the Scrimba editor. Here I can check out the various files, index.html, index.js. I can create new files if I want or folders. I can also add dependencies if I want to import NPM modules. For example, jQuery. Hit add, and then I've added jQuery. Okay, so let's do a very quick recording. To do a recording, I hit the record button, I choose the microphone, and then I'll hit confirm. Hello, and welcome to Pear's little tutorial. Today we are going to learn HTML. Let's run that code, and as you can see, whatever you write here <clears throat> ends up here. When I'm finished with the tutorial, I simply hit stop and then confirm. And what I have now is a finished tutorial. Let's play it. Hello and welcome to Pear's little tutorial. Today we are going to learn HTML. And as easy as that, I've created a coding screencast. Now, there was one point where I kind of um, coughed a little bit. Now, I want to cut that part away. I can do that by hitting the brush up button, and then I'm taken to this awesome panel where I can play through. Let's run that code. And as you can see, whatever you write here, <clears throat> here I kind of coughed. So, actually, I want to cut away that part. I can do that by simply holding shift down and dragging over the area. Then I can cut that part away. Then I can play whatever it. You write here ends up here. As easy as that, you can edit your screencast. As you can see, you can also speed up and silence parts. For example, do like that. I then hit save. And now, if I want to share this coding screencast with someone, I simply hit the publish button, write a tutorial on HTML, for example. I hit publish. And now, I can share this link here with whomever I want, and they can see the screencast and interact with it and use it just like a normal Scrimba screencast. It also appeared here on the front page, actually. However, if I don't want to have it on the front page, I can edit the cast details and set it to secret, then only the ones I share the link with will have access to the screencast. Let's do that. Okay, so that was a very quick introduction to Scrimba. I hope you like what you saw and feel free to reach out to me 
peer at scrimba.com on email if you have any questions. Thank you.